Okay, so let's have a look at what we can do with our sparrows. So what we need to do is we need to get hold of one of our school for sparrows from one of your teachers. Um, and you also need some kind of phone, um, whether it's an iPad, phone, a Samsung or anything else, um, or whether it's um, an iPad will also work for this. So what we want to do is we need to first of all download the app. And so there's an app here called Sphero EDU. Um, there are some other Sphero apps as well. Make sure you get the Sphero EDU, the education one. Okay. Um, so that's the two things we need. Now the Sphero itself comes with a, a silicon case, which um, I can either leave on if I'm doing a lot of driving around and I want to protect it, or I can take it off, particularly if I want to look at the screen. So for this, I'm going to take the case off. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the app itself. Um, now when mine has already um, loaded straight into the program itself because I've got my own account already set up yours will, that will be the first thing that comes up with is with a home screen saying <clears throat> would you like to sign up um, or continue as guest and I would recommend sign in with your Google account um, and that way you can store any programs that you create. So in here we've got a number of different options um, and across the bottom, these are the main ones that we all want to look at. So we've got a home screen, which is where I am now. I've got programs, which we will look into what we do in there. We've got activities, if the teacher's created an activity for the class. Um, and then there's a drive option. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the drive option. In actual fact, let me just go back one step. Um, in the screen here, I've got this big connect robot button at the top. If I connect that, it goes and looks at how, what robots are in the area nearby. And you can see it's got the little bars there telling me how good my um, wireless connection is between my phone and the um, Sparrow and how much battery it has. So this particular one, it's the only one nearby, so this is the one that I want to connect. And it goes and tells me, cool, I can connect that. And so that's what it's doing now. And you can start to see that there are some lights that come up and now it's fully connected, the lights on the screen have all come up. Um, and it shows me up the top there now that this is connected. So let me just go into the straight drive mode. In here we've got some choices. Um, if I want to change the colours, and if you notice on the screen there, um, those colours can change um, depending on what I want. I'm going to leave it at blue, because um, that's one of my favourite colours. Um, I can also change how dim or bright the light is. Now this middle bar here is a measure of the speed, so this is if I'm just doing a free drive then I can make it go really fast or slow or anywhere in between. Down the bottom is our aim button and we've got this in both this um, setting and in the program setting and it's going to be a very important button is this tells us which direction the robot thinks is north. So if I press that button there, you'll notice it comes up with this ring. And if I spin around that ring, it turns the sparrow around. Now I want to turn sparrow around until the little blue light that you can see there is pointing straight back at me. Alright, when it's pointing straight back at me, then I'm going to let it go. And it now knows that the direction opposite that is forwards. Okay, so it knows that going... Sorry, it knows that going this way is forwards because this pointing back here at me is south. Okay, And then this button in the middle here allows me to drive the Sphero around, okay, which I won't do very much of um, because I want to do some more demonstration. Okay, So that's if I want to do a straight free drive. But we want to have a look into writing a program. So I'm going to click on the program one. Got a number of ones that are already there. I want to, however, with this plus button here, I want to create a new um, program. So I'm going to give it its name and, and I'm just going to call this one test. If I can spell. There we go. Um, I've got different types um, with, that I can use. I want to do the block programming, and that's what we mostly use here. The different types of robots, and we've got this is a Sparrow Bolt, but you can see there's a number of different types there. Um, and then I'm going to create that, and that now loads up 
this program. So you can see across the top there, there's this black bar which says on start program. That means anything, any blocks that I want to use, I need to attach to this there. Okay, there's our, the top there is our little aim button and there's also the free drive if I just want to access that from here as well. So across the bottom, I've got a number of different types of menus. Okay, um, you can see there's different types. So there's some fancy programming that we can do with this, which is going to be fabulous for some of our later topics. Um, at the moment, I'm just going to stick with the movement ones. Um, and in particular, this very first one here, which is my roll command. So I'm just going to grab this. Um, oh, come here. And I am going to, why does it move? I'm going to drop that and attach it there. Okay. Now this has got three different parts to it. So the first part says zero degrees. So that tells me the angle that I'm traveling at. So for this first part, we just want to get it driving straight on a 10 meter course. So I just want it going straight at zero degrees. Then it's got the next one, um, which is my speed. Now the speed, when I click on that one there, there's two options for doing this. I can use the um, finger values just in between here. Can get a little bit difficult sometimes, especially if your fingers are, are, like, my, um, are like mine and not really skinny. It can be, get hard to get to an exact number that you want. So in that case, I'm just going to press the number itself, um, and that way I can type in a speed. Now, it takes a speed as a binary number between 0 and 255. So we need to convert that binary speed into a speed in meters per second, which is what we're going to be doing shortly. So I'm going to put in my speed and then tick there, and that's now um, allocated that. The third one is the duration or the time. It's got zero S at the moment, so it's got zero seconds. I'm going to set mine up to at the moment to run for 15 seconds, and then tick that little box. The next one that I want to use is there's a stop option here, so I'm going to just grab this block here and I'm going to drag and drop that and attach it underneath there. So this program will now make my Sphero roll at zero degrees at a speed of 89 for 15 seconds and then it will stop. Once I've set my aim up there at the top and because I've been driving it around the aim needs to be reset, so if I turn this around again, the blue um, light pointing straight back at me. There we go. When I'm ready to go, I'm going to press the start button there and it will head off for 15 seconds straight ahead. And that's what we need to do.